And we're live. Uh, welcome to Cappuccino Cunnilingus, episode three. I'm Rob, and I'm here with a special guest. Her name is Leaping Lizard Cosplay. Hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, we're live at Magic City Comic Con right now. Uh, it is a pretty packed crowd. Uh, today, Saturday, it's been pretty hectic all day, and we're finally getting a chance to sit down. We we're going to do this early this morning, but... Uh, turned out uh, we were both actually pretty busy, and uh, I'm glad we finally got to sit down. Yes, I had the plague. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, con crud, con crud does happen a lot, so. Morning dose of con crud. Yeah. AKA being dehydrated and congested. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> that's why uh, we have Gatorade and water down at our booth. Like, oh god, no joke. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Liz, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, I go Liz. by Liz. Okay, so Liz, uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, what first got you into cosplay. Well, it's actually a fun story. I absolutely adore like telling this story. Um, um, it's a common one, but uh, way back, way back in the day, back when I was a youngin. No, I kid. Um, I was in college, and my friends had been cosplaying and doing conventions stuff for a long time. And I thought it was really cool, and they invited me to come. How old were you when you first went? 19. 19? Yeah, 19. I'm 27 now. Don't judge me. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm not that old yet. No, I kid. Um, we, they said that uh, we were going to do a One Piece group, and we were going to compete, and that's what we did. What, um, what character from One Piece were you? Specifically, oh god, it's such a great story because it leads into a funny one. Um, uh -huh. I was 2020 Chopper, the little reindeer doctor. I love Chopper. Chopper's yeah. amazing. I'll show you a picture. I'll, yeah. I'll show you a picture of it. It's so funny. Um, I spent like two weeks making my hat and like hand sewed my like fur little arm things. It's like a human version of it. Mm -hmm. um, little did I know what a furry was at the time. It's a whole <laughs> other story. But uh, I remember walking into the convention in my cute little chopper outfit and seeing all the cosplayers being blown away, like, holy cow, this is amazing! And, uh, you know, I was weeaboo trash at the beginning, so, you know, still am, but no, no. We all are. Uh, we, all, we all trash, we all trash, it's great. I'm a garbage can, not a garbage can. No. Um, I walked in and people were like, oh my god, chopper! And it was like an instant connection. Like, I walked in, I was overwhelmed, I recognized things, I realized, like, these are my people, you know? And, um, they say they say you can't judge a book by its cover, mm -hmm. but with cosplay, as funny as it is, you can. Not in a negative sense, but in a very positive sense. The sense that like when you see someone wearing something you recognize, it's an instant conversation piece. Like instantly, you know, like yeah. holy crap, we both like the same thing, you know. And then and, it just uh, goes deeper from there. Yeah, and then you you know you talk and you work, and actually I even get more excited when I see people cause the same play, cosplay the same thing as I do because. That means they love that character enough to take the time, the effort, just like I did, to make that character come to life. I, I freak out when I see fellow like people in the same outfits. I'm like, selfie, 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 you know? <laughs> it's, like, it's almost like, uh, yeah. just this past just this past weekend, this is the first Comic-Con I've been to since uh, New York Comic-Con in 2011. Oh. Uh, all the Deadpools, everybody's always high-fiving, everybody's always yeah. trying to out-weird each other, and it's just it's just a wonderful environment. And I think that the, cos one, the cosplay community is one of, if not the best, uh, like close-knit groups of people oh, yeah. that come together and always want to have fun. I, I probably dish out like 300 hugs a day. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see people I know and I'm just like, hey, hey you know, how's it going? So, um, I... It was a community where I instantly felt accepted, you know, I didn't feel discriminated against, I didn't feel weird for being a nerd, you know, here I was, like, in high school, like, president of the math honor society, you know, I went to college, and got science, two bachelors of science, minors in science, like, I had, I've always been, like, super hard nerd, always huge gamer, huge, like, super into space and math and just all that stuff, and... Mm -hmm. I always loved video games and anime, and you know, it was a community where I walked in and people didn't judge me for me. Like if anything, it was just so. Exciting. It was it was a warm embrace. It was so warm and so fun, and you know, at that time, it was, you know, it was just a mutual thing. You just I don't know if you've never been to one. I say if you've never been to a convention and you like this stuff, you know, even if you like you know like Star Trek or even Game of Thrones or TV shows like that, you can still come and have a good time. You can respect that. Yeah, once any community is welcome. Like yes. it's a, 
cons are meant to be enjoyed by everyone, no matter what fandom you're from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it really, there's there's a niche for everyone. Like, even Dragon Con, they have a science track. Yeah. And I mean, I went to a, an astronomy panel, and I was like, oh, my bloom, <laughs> you know, with, like, professors, you know. Yeah, uh, just yesterday, yeah. our the booth I was at, uh, we're two, uh, two lanes away from the main hall, yeah. and... While I was working, I could hear Bill Nye waxing philosophically about genetics and physics, and it almost brought a tear to my eye. And like, you never, you're never able to like fully comprehend exactly like what is actually going on until you think about it. Because never, hardly ever in the history of like conventions will you ever have somebody so broad spectrum like nerd and geek as Bill Nye sitting, you know, sitting down yeah, and talking yeah. to. 500, 1,000, maybe 2,000 people in one room without, you know, had no everybody being intrigued. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, they brought astronauts here before, too, as, like, guests to these shows. And it's really, it's really accepting um, everything. If you're, like, you know, sci-fi or whatever, you know, there's, like, so much. And I don't mean just, like, the movie, but if you're, like, you know, like, novel, hardcore sci-fi enthusiasts, like, book club sort of thing there's there's everybody even if you're a furry there's a huge furry community so oh, yeah which um <laughs> i gotta tell you the story now Go so for it. my first con because i was like half furry per se because i had like fur arms and fur legs and you know those little fur ears and yeah my chopper hat and i was like oh furries yeah high five like yeah high five bro because i only i thought furry was a terminology well it is terminology for those who don't know that people that kind of dress up like animals um and there, there's is, there's some deeper that goes into that. Yes, but. it's much deeper. Like some of these people truly feel, uh, and you know, that they believe that like this is kind of like their spirit animal per se. Their mm -hmm. Patronus from Harry Potter. Yeah. Um, and it's really cool. It's really neat. Uh, I'm really respectful of it. I think it's really cool and interesting. Um, I my friends told me to go to this furry panel, but little did I know it was an 18 plus <laughs> adult. Adult furry Personal, panel. intimate panel. So I waited in line for like an hour and a half, like talking yeah. to these people. They they checked my ID. I'm like, oh I guess they checked my ID at these things. Like, what's going on? Like, it was an 18 plus panel. I had no idea what I was walking into. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I sit there. I'm talking to the woman, you know, who's like running the panel. And she's like, I've been a furry. I was like, it's my first time to snow. We didn't. Oh my goodness. We didn't. We didn't talk about it in that one, the way it was meant to be talked about, you know. Yeah. It's like walking to a hentai panel and you don't know what hentai is, so I'm sitting here like, oh man, okay, I'm, I'm like trying not to curse. Oh, you I can curse, we're okay, it's the fine. internet. I was sitting there in the first fucking row, man. Oh my god. <laughs> first fucking row, there's like, no, it was like 300 people. Was somebody's, like just wait, somebody's just waiting to yiff on you. Right. Like, no, <laughs> this is great, this is the best part. Yeah, they were even like, whatever, it, it was weird. So... Uh, again, you know, wear a float your boat, just don't tell me what floats up it. So, uh, no, <laughs> I, uh, my buddies, they knew what was going on, and I was like, they guys, come sit in the front. They just let it go? Not, they set me up. Those mother set me up. Oh, my God. So, I'm, I'm sitting there in the front row in the panel, and, uh, they're all literally standing in the back of the room watching, because they know, they know. So, um, she was dressed as Appa from Avatar. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I go, ah! <laughs> now when I think of Appa, but... And then her boyfriend was dressed as Odin's horse summoning from Final Fantasy. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's really cool, because that's, that's awesome. I love those both. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And so then, then you heard they something. They start setting up, and they start setting up some stuff, and oh I'm like, gosh. what, what, is, what, what, is, what, what? And I, the flags are going up. Oh. I think I last about ten minutes turned bright red just gotta like they're then they're like oh this is where we uh open up our costumes and this is what this is the products that we use and this is this, this, this. and i'm sitting there just like my eyeballs are just getting wider and wider and wider like it didn't even occur to me just i just visualized like oh god i just like visualized mickey mouse gang banging mini mouse like i don't know with the crew and i'm just like i gotta get out of here oh my god what is this like it's just like no it was so awful it was the wrong rabbit hole i to just go like down. i was like no 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 no, I just said Mickey Mouse gang banging Minnie Mouse, and I yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. True. yeah, we we can say that. It's, it's fine. Internet. It's fine. Yeah. Whatever. Adults, fine. 18 plus. No. So I I literally um again, I'm very understanding and accept, accepting of the thing. Yeah. More power to them. 
but I didn't, I wasn't ready for that, like, I was just completely naive, here I was, like, 19, like, didn't know about any of this stuff, and I remember just walking out there, trying bright bread, and, like, I got up, and I stood up, and my friends were like, Liz, sit back down, ha ha ha, and, like, and then just turned bright red, and I left, so that was, that was a, that was a very interesting experience. And that was your first con. That was my first con. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. You know, oh, everyone's perfect. No, I, um, I, we actually competed too. So we competed oh, yeah. and we got like a judge's award. And we got this horrible movie called uh, Zombies in Bangkok. It was I awful I think movie. I might have seen that. It was pretty bad. Um, if you are of uh, adult responsible drinking age, you should definitely check it out and make it a game. Uh, <laughs> as, mo as most things, yes, can, anything yes. can be made a drinking Yes, <laughs> this one was especially bad. So it was really funny. Um, we had a good time and I got the itch. I got the itch then. I yeah. got the bug. I had a good time. I ended up competing and doing Botan for you, Hakushu. And I got a best in show with her, and then I kept competing over the years and just making costumes. And I want to say in 2013, I um, I started going to a lot of shows. I, you know, I graduated, I got my career, I got my finances out of the way, I had extra spending money, so why not? And um, I turned it, I turned it into like a full-time thing where I was going to shows and posting stuff all the time and posting progress and. Not before long, I won a bunch of awards and I was noticed and I was invited to shows to be a guest and, and a work at booths, so... <laughs> I just but yes. come here I'm gonna kill you, Dan. <laughs> I just stole almonds with Dan Harmon. <laughs> wow. Sorry, yeah. that's... that's yeah. For those listening on the podcast right now, this is John of Moderately Okay Cosplay. Oh my god, no. Thanks, John! <laughs> oh, oh, you're Moderately Okay. No. Okay. Oh, no, that's yes, he is! What a tool! No, I can't, I can't. Leaping Slizzard cosplay. Leaping Slizzard cosplay. Leaping Slizzard. So I gave my judges award to the mini Metaton and everything, and I'm gonna go give him a print. Go do it. Awesome. Go do it. Alright, sorry. But yes, right. I told you I was a little that. But yes, I started getting invited shows again. So cosplay has so, actually changed quite dramatically for me since this started happening. So you would consider 2013 like the breaking point, a professional jumping off point yes. at that point. Yes, that's yeah. when I started cosplaying full time. I've been a part time a couple times a year. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it just it kicked off. I got the, the, you know, I just got the urge for it. I had a career, that, I have a career that I love in the door, and I need a hobby. And if, if anything, I go home now from work every day and I'm sewing, you know, it's just yeah. one of those things. Of any of any uh, hobby to have, I think cosplay is definitely one of like the healthiest and most fun. I mean, it's... I could be doing cocaine, but I rather so. <laughs> hell of a drug. Uh, it's a hell of a drug. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> but yes, yes. Yeah. Um, a big thing too is actually before I actually right before I got into the cosplay in 2012, mm. I actually uh, went on a huge fitness like binge, like I <laughs> say huge fitness binge. Um, I've always had medical problems too, and uh, I was a bit heavier, and I actually lost in a year 50 mm. pounds. So wow. dieting, exercising, working out right, being healthy, and that's actually, I do panels and stuff occasionally on nutrition and staying healthy and, yeah. you know, that sort of thing too. So uh, I was always athletic, and I ended up blowing out my knee, and long story short, I kind of fell off the wagon while I was in college, and now I'm back on it. So I like to preach the healthy lifestyle in addition to... Yeah, just doing this. It's so much fun, so positive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so embarrassed John came by. I was like, oh my god, leave me. Oh god, John. No, okay. He's so I've, great. I've heard, I've heard many things about him today. So. Oh, he's great. Yeah. John's great. John's great. Um, hopefully all good. Yeah, most, yeah. He's just very sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you're based out of Florida and, uh, I wanted to know, uh, have you had any experience with, uh, like, cons, like, internationally or on, like, the West Coast or in the Midwest or anything like that? Uh, I have done shows out of, out of Florida. Mm -hmm. I've done shows across, um, uh, like I said, again, since 2013, I've been doing a lot of shows, um, mostly for, I've hit, you know, Miami, um, space, uh, <laughs> the brain part starts naming places like Space Coast at uh, Melbourne, Florida, Tampa, Orlando, Fort Walton Beach, Pensacola, just all up and down the state, Tallahassee. Um, I've done a lot of shows in Florida, um, a lot in Orlando. Uh, I've done 
I got a gig at Phoenix Comic Con. I was a professional cosplayer out there, and I also nice. worked at a booth. Um, that's probably one of my bigger things. I was uh, also a Phantom Fest. I've been there for two years. That's in Texas. Um, I did get invited to a couple shows uh, out of state, but things didn't work out, long story short. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. Where else? Um, I'm planning on moving out of Florida soon. I've, uh, I've uh, moved up in the port in my career where I can promote it, but I could go anywhere in the United States. So oh, yeah. I've kind of stayed home for the most part because it's Florida. It's, I say home. There, there's, but, there's, not, yeah. there's not many bad things about Florida. No, no. It's, it's beautiful most of the time. Yeah, yeah. I've lived in Florida my pretty much my whole existence, so um, wow. I know not snow. Oh, <laughs> snow's amazing. That's what I hear. People are like, oh man, you'll love it. And then other people are like, you're going to hate it. The cleanup, the cleanup part sucks, but yeah. just the feeling and the just the wonder. It makes great yeah. backgrounds for cosplay. Uh, <laughs> I, I've seen so many. I have costumes. I'm like, man, it's be great to shoot in snow. Yeah. If I ever find some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, in addition to... Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. In addition to uh, cosplay, is there like any other any other like hobbies or anything that you like to do? Like it stares off like deeply. Uh, I'm actually I like to do a lot of things. Um, most are like cosplay oriented. You yeah, know, I like sewing. I like woodworking. I like just you know prop work stuff like that. I lots of fitness again, healthy yeah. lifestyle activity. Working out. I do a lot of like spin and Zumba. I can't dance to save my CrossFit my damn life. I would love to try it, actually, but <laughs> I've had people who are like, stay away from CrossFit, don't do it, you're going to hurt yourself, because, yeah, the knee and yeah. the surgery. Someone said it's a little too intense for me, but... It, it, it can be, yeah. Yeah, I was told, uh, with the previous injuries I have, it's probably something I shouldn't do. Yeah. So, but uh, I had a trainer for a while, and it was good, good times, good times. Spin's my main one, I like cycling a lot. That's a big one for me. Um, I used to do martial arts all the time, but with my work schedule and where I live now, I can't really find a school that mm. fits the schedule. That fits my yeah, because I work crazy shift work. I'm, yeah. I'm in emergency support per se. Yeah. Um, in the science side, and uh, so I work like three days morning, three days evening, a week of overnights, and then it's it's crazy. My life is my sleep schedule, so. Yeah. Um, but gaming, I just got into Twitch streaming. I'm very new to it, so it's like a new territory. I like that a lot because I get to actually talk and engage with people. Yeah. So. Um, the more you get into it, I think it, it helps, it helps with, uh, just gaining followers and, like, introducing yourself to a wider audience. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I'm trying to attempt the YouTube. <laughs> The YouTube is very weird. The YouTubes are weird. <laughs> the YouTube's weird. I made a video on iMovie, and my friend's like, did you make this in iMovie? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, oh, this, oh, and I'm like, it's okay. I think it's funny. No, I can't, I can't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, there's, there's a lot of stuff. I read a lot. I read a lot of, like, political books, textbook fiction, too, you know. I'm actually, I finally just got the Dark Tower series of Stephen King. Like, I was a kid, I was... I understand, like, I was such a bookworm when I was a kid, so I've been getting into that. I'm actually reading The Martian right now. So. Oh my god, The Martian. I haven't seen the movie. The, that the book, book is, is so good. good. Yes. The, I was telling, like, I was, ugh, this is, it breaks down the science to such a fine point, like, to such intimate detail. And they, they, ba they touched on a, a, a fair amount in the movie, like, yeah. when you, when you think about, like, mm -hmm. Matt Damon, like, as a person, you don't think of him as, like, a scientific guy who, who can... Be, you don't think of him as a botanist. You think of it, him as uh, Jason Bourne. Yeah, you think of, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think of him as uh, mm -hmm. the Archangel uh, Loki. Yes. You think, you know, you don't see you don't see a scientist, but he does such a great. His acting is so good. Yeah. He, he could be anybody. Uh, he, his his career is going to jump from this movie. I, and, I I still need to see the movie. Everyone's like, so good. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to finish the book and I'll see the movie. So. It, it, it's. Mm. It's a different experience from the book, but you'll love it nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Um, but yeah, I highly, if you haven't read the book and you feel like you want to pick up a book, I highly recommend it. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm literally, like, I have like four or five chapters left of that, so oh, I'm man. kicking at it. So it's almost done. I start reading it, and then like four hours go by, and it's like, I gotta go to bed. I fall asleep with a book in my hand with drool on it, so. I used to be able to, <laughs> I used to be able to finish 300-page uh, books in a day. And 
ain't got the time. Man. Yeah, I ain't got the time no, anymore. No, for that. <laughs> nobody got time for that. No. Yeah. With the uh, with the current upkeep of anime and gaming, uh, no, I'm oh, kidding. Oh man, kidding. that just totally overhauled yeah. everything. Like I, I, one night a week, one night a week, I'll come home from working out, I'll soak in tub for like an hour, I'll just relax, listen to some music, I'll have a glass of hot tea, I'll have whatever protein thing I eat afterwards, some supplement, a shake or whatever, and then uh, I sit down, get a nice glass of uh, sleepy time. Celestial seasoning tea, my honey, and I lay down with a book on the bed and I read it. Like that's my like tradition every week. Like I must do my tea night, my tea and book night. But um, my mom was really big to me as a kid too. Like I'm big into reading. Like uh, every you know every she couple nights. She pushed you into it, yeah. Like we would we would read together every mm -hmm. night. Like she was very good about it, and she was always she wasn't the type of person to be like do your homework. She'd be like Did you do your homework. Yeah, ma. You know, it was like really easy. It's like okay, good. I was always, I'm always been uh, very big into education. Uh, I well, not saying I love people being educated. Yeah. Me personally, <laughs> I, whatever. You could be. There are people who are mechanics or geniuses with cars. Like I can never. I don't yeah. think you measure intelligence based on um, a degree. Yeah. Uh, that's not. It doesn't matter to me personally. I think intelligence is based on like what you're passionate about, how hard you work at it. Yeah. Um, not necessarily like here's a piece of paper. Um, yeah. But, that being said, I have several pieces of paper and now I'm broke. <laughs> I kid. But, um, I'm getting back to the point is, uh, she was a highly intelligent woman, like, worked at, like, Walmart Rural Life sort of thing. Uh, but she was always supportive in education, like, and was like, you can do anything you want, any dream, like, if you want it, you need to work hard for it, that sort of mindset. But she's always been a very big inspiration in that regard. She was an artist. Yeah. And it didn't pan out. It didn't pan out, unfortunately. So, life happened, she had to take care of her family, sort of thing. And yeah. So, in a way, I feel part of the cosplay, too, is, like, I'm kind of bringing You're carrying on the art aspect. Like, of it. yes. Yeah. yeah, she was always very talented, like, just painter, so we're sculptor, things like that. We oh, yeah. just sit down and do stuff all the time. Um, she doesn't sew, so I'm self-taught <laughs> sewing. There you um, go. But, um, no, nah, she was always great in that regard. And I was an easy kid. I was always a nerd. Um, with my career and my job, I get to constantly learn. I'm always, always training. I get to further my field. I get to do research and go to conferences. So, it's so night and day. Like, you know, I hear do the cosplay, and then people are like, what do you do for a living? And I'm like, oh, this. And they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you do what? I do science now, I kid. Yeah. Um, as, I'll tell you. I'm a meteorologist. Yeah. So, not TV. I'm a real one. I kid. I kid, I kid. So, that's what I do for a living. Um, you would make a wonderful meteorologist on, on TV. TV. Oh, my God. I get that all the time. I was offered several jobs. Yeah. So, um, doing TV stuff. And I was like, nah, it's okay. I don't want to be broke. <laughs> You might not know this, but most TV meteorologists work three days a week and make 19 grand a year starting. Yeah, so it's like, I'm on TV, but I'm working at Bed Bath & Beyond, you know? <laughs> it's like actors that yeah. do wait, do waitressing. Yes. The thing, yeah, the thing about television meteorology is it's more so about, you know, you as a person, your personality, and, you know, like, you can only look a certain way, you can only act a certain way, you're in the public eye all the time, that sort of thing. Which is funny, because actually I'm kind of scared of cameras, too. Really? <laughs> I was terrified of video cameras. Like, well, oh, video so, cameras. Okay. Well, video. Let me clarify. And pictures, I was like, don't take pictures. So, um, I mean, I think my first bathing suit, my maroon photo, was the first <laughs> time in my entire life. I was freaking 20, 24, 25. The first time I ever a photo of me in a bathing suit. Like, I was very shy, very conservative sort of thing. You know, like, whoo, don't look at me. <laughs> living in Florida your whole life. That's like... Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, the cosplay has really helped me personally come on my show. I'm very confident with who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. And it's made me, because it's such an accepting community, I've, very, I've been able to blossom as an individual in the sense that I can be myself, I can joke, I can, you know, I can do whatever I want. You know what I mean? Sort yeah. of thing. I'm very respectful and very kind kind of person, too. And I'm so passionate and excited about cosplay you know like, yeah I think and I'm very serious I'm very serious to my own personal cosplay I'm mm -hmm. never judgmental of everyone else but like I'll look at something but, like that I made I'm like oh this is, this is crap self this is crap you know <laughs> all artists are severely self-critical like oh yeah. oh it's like oh this is so great oh it's garbage it's garbage it's yeah. garbage can okay <laughs> so uh with uh talking about family uh do you find that like family and friends really support you with the uh, cosplay like like embracing it well you know I really only have my mom my brother and my grandmother 
And at first she was a little hesitant. She's like, "You're not gonna quit your job, right?" <laughs> I'm like, "No, mom." Every every mom, every mom, no, they hear something, mom, I want to go into this. No, and like, they don't no, know no. what it is. It's just like, no. just don't quit your day job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, God, no. So really, those are they're really the only three family members I have. Mm -hmm. Um, all my friends I made. I make friends with everybody. So, yeah. But close friends, I want to say I have like, honestly, I have about three in my life. Like oh, yeah. people I consider like if I could call two in the morning. Like, oh no, <laughs> I chopped my leg off, you know, <laughs> help me, you know, they come and help me, or I killed someone, please help me hide the body, yeah. so, you know, that sort of thing, <laughs> not saying that I have, though, <laughs> maybe, no, I get it, I get it, but, um, I have a ton of acquaintances and friends and just positive people in my life that I hang out with and talk to, um, but there's a couple that are very dear and close to me, I, I'm very close to the circle, and not, I'm not saying this is a con of cosplay, but it's a con of being so uh, essentially, like someone who's looked at, you know, as a guest at shows and things like that. I'm not gonna say that word everyone loves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who shall that word shall not be mentioned by my mouth? Oh boy. The cosplay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Groans. Cosplay. Ah! ah! No, I can't. <laughs> I literally burn into, like, a, I spontaneously combust when they hear that word. My buddy jokes around all the time. They love to introduce me here at the show as that, too. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, I'm like, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I don't like that terminology uh, in the sense, if you don't know this word, it's called cause fame. Okay? Yeah. In the Causeway community, there are people who are, who are cause famous. They're guests at shows. They've done things. And, like, the people know them. And they're looked to in the community eye. Um, they had, they also hold a lot of influence in the community as well. Which yes, they can. Brings it, it brings a, it brings a power that you know hasn't really been brought to the community before. Because cosplay right now, it's it's the wild wild west. Okay? Yeah. There's no rules. There's no none of this that none. Yeah. You know, you have people who are very elitist who are like, you must make all your costumes and you must show all your work and you must do this and you must compete. And you know, then you have the people who are like. Woo! I bought this t-shirt at Walmart. I bought this t-shirt, yeah. yeah. I was like, you know, cosplay's cool, cosplay's fun, cosplay's for everyone. And then you have other people who are like, oh, you're the wrong skin color. You know, like, you have the pros and cons. You have people like, you're too fat, you know. There's a lot, there's a, there's um, a, there's a lot of shaming when it comes to oh, the, the, but, that kind of stuff. But. I'm gonna, I'm be straight here. Yeah. It doesn't matter what comedian, there's always gonna be assholes. Yeah. yeah. I'll say it. Yeah. You know, in real life, too. Um... There, there are people who have been very disrespectful to me. There's people who have been really supportive of me. You know, I, the thing, the bullying side of it is unfortunate. Uh, and when you're a guest, unfortunately, you get it a lot more. Yeah. Like, a lot more. Because uh, your, like, na your, your name is out there. Your name's out there, you know, like, oh, oh, oh slut. <laughs> yeah. Things like that. It's like, man... I didn't eat a cheeseburger, so don't you judge me. You know, <laughs> I gave him my cheeseburger today. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's a damn lie. I just worked out more. <laughs> but no, no, there's a lot of jealous and envy and spiteness. I've never been jealous of anyone. The, the only type of people I'm jealous of are people who can eat shellfish because I'm allergic. Oh, man. I'm literally bitter. When I see somebody eat shellfish, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> it's the same way. I'm, I just learned like recently that I'm lactose intolerant. So like, oh, whenever whenever yeah. somebody walks by with a milkshake, I'm just oh, like, I know, I know that's going to kill me on the inside. Oh, my God. Oh, I want it. Don't get me started. Like, I can't have milkshake. I'm lactose intolerant. Like, I can't eat some nitrates. Like, for shellfish, I have oh, such boy. a crazy diet now. Long story short... When I see someone eating shellfish, yeah. or like a milkshake, I mean, I swear to God, as soon as I take like a, a swallow of a milkshake, I'm instantly pooping my pants, like instantly. <laughs> I mean, it touches my tongue and I'm like defecating. It's an awful experience. If you don't know how bad lactose intolerance is, I just, I wish that on no one. Yeah. Ice cream. <laughs> I miss ice cream. At least frozen yogurt exists. Oh my God, yeah. There's the, the uh, so the, the non-dairy ones, the yeah. sorbet and stuff. The, and like, uh, 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 sorry, uh, food. <laughs> food. So, yeah, if I eat something with too much cheese, it's like, oh, I got poop, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's a terrible experience. I cry all the time. But, uh, no, but this whole, like, it's funny because if you think in retrospect, you know, the stuff that people get upset about, the petty little things. It, it's all little things. It's keyword. It's little. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of people have personal problems with securities, and that's fine. But, you yeah. know, look, we live in a. Uh, some of people might say, oh, and like turn away. We live in a great country. We're scientifically advanced. I mean, we all have freaking like smartphones. Yeah. You know, 
We have, you know, like there's like now Obamacare, which is healthcare and stuff like that. You yeah. know, oh, hot topic trigger. No, like, <laughs> Um, no, don't even, don't oh, say that. Don't trigger. say the, don't say the T word. Don't, trigger. don't oh. say it. No, I can't, I can't. I get, well, you know, we're changing in society. I mean, people are eating healthier and like living longer and yada, yada, yada. Well, yeah. we have it very well and, we'll, you know, in regards, yes, there's like unemployment and, you know, like other things. There's, Credit there's, card debt. <laughs> there's, lo- there's a lot of, loans. there's a lot of real things out there that yes. could, could be a problem for people. But like, the yes. things that, like, the things that people in this community that, that get mad about is just so Stupid. trivial. Like, it and it can easily be solved by just yeah. saying it in your head and just yeah. getting it. Just like, I'll be real for yourself. a second, yeah. and I'm not gonna go too in depth with it. But my my father was a drug addict, mm-hmm. really bad, like really really bad. It wasn't the best childhood in the beginning. My mom was strong enough to leave him and put me in a better at, you know atmosphere when I was young. So around eight years old, she finally like left. Mm-hmm. But the the early stages of my life, those like from like four to eight what I can remember like I look at this petty shit and I'm like you guys don't realize like how much worse like like could theoretically be oh, yeah. and that being said too I've talked to people in this community who have uncomfortably like bad life situations yeah They're and this in, is their escape this is their escape this means everything to them so when you go and you tear someone down and all they have is cosplay and you tear them down and cosplay like that that wrecks them it does and it's not fair and it's it's not it's not good for everybody in that situation because it's no. making the person doing the tearing down look like an asshole and yeah. it's making the person getting torn down i mean there's, there's making them kids feel who unfortunately kill themselves you yeah know, there are people who's left the community i know girls who couldn't handle the stress of people bullying them like who've left the community because they yeah. just can't and it always breaks my heart and for anyone who just in general, if you ever feel bullied or you ever have any problems essentially with that sort of thing, just just stop. Just stop. Think to yourself, who is this person? Are my emotionally invested in them? Are they going to matter five years of my life? If anything, I mean, we could spend hours and days and just time just thinking like, what is this person's life situation? What's wrong with them? Why are they bullying people? You know, that days. sort of thing. <laughs> oh my God. You know, you could drive yourself insane. I got, I've grown a thick skin. I've grown an incredibly thick skin because of this, mm-hmm. unfortunately. So, um, but then again, with, with what happened in my childhood, you yeah. know, I, I've moved way past that. I have a very thick skin in that regard. You know, when people speak ill of me, I know they're not, they're projecting. Yeah. They're not targeting at me. Yeah. They're targeting at their own life situation. And I, I can't fault anyone for that, you know? It's yeah. like, you know, uh, forgive is divine sort of thing. Yeah. So, um... That being said, you know, I, I actually always encourage, I actually do a panel tomorrow on positivity. And I'm going to be... What time Positivity. Is it? Yeah, it's at, uh, it's at 10.30, right when we open. <sighs> I know, all that drinking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that rave is going to be terrible. I know, right? <laughs> but the the panel pretty much goes into the same subject. Um, mm-hmm. Like, everybody in the cosplay community has their niche, and mine is talking about these things, really. Yeah. Um, just being a happy, positive person. Uh... I like to tell other cosplayers, like, if you see something wrong, say something. Yeah. If you see, you know, someone going out of their way to make someone else's life a living hell, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> um, stand up for other people. Compliment other people. Pay it fucking forward, man. Yeah. You see that movie? You see that movie? You're going to cry. It's a great movie. Watch it. <laughs> you know, um, I go out of my way always, and it's always genuine. I don't want someone to half-ass and be like, oh, it's great cause, but, you know, yeah. like, mean it. See something, be happy about it. Like, let people know you like their stuff. Yeah. Because the thing about cosplay that's so nice is you get instant validation. Yeah. There's a... The widening of the eyes, yeah. the bright smile that comes across yeah, the face, yeah. the gasping. Yeah. It's the, it's the immediate, it's the instant gratification that, mm-hmm. like, you'd have to go to social media for it, but yeah. you have it in person, and that, yeah. for most people, that is, like, ten times better. Oh, it is. And that's the thing, too, is, I don't care what anyone said, there's an awesome, there's an awesome YouTube, like, video called Validation. If you're a chance to watch it, I highly recommend it, but it pretty much, like, like, it's a guy... He's like stamping people's parking tickets, and every time someone comes up, he compliments them or says nice something nice to them. Long story short, he becomes the most popular parking garage, but it's really cool what happens. I don't want to spoil it because it gets really, it gets awesome, but it shows a point, and the point I'm trying to make is every human being 
needs validation. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone needs to be told they're doing a good job. What they do, their value and their worth means something. Okay, for cosplay, anyone I'm seeing cosplay, for me that means like, wow, we share this art, this passion. Like, good on you. Like, good on you. You were fucking kicking it. Yeah. You killing it. You know, and. So I always go out of my way to just make sure I let someone know when I like what they have. I go out of my way to be like, ah! you know, I scream, like, I love you! Rest in peace, headphone users. Oh, no, I kid. But it's, God, I could talk about it forever. Um, it's great. And, you know, the people who do the sexy cosplay, fucking good on them, man. They Is that self-confident. They oh put yourself the out amount there. Of, the amount of self-confidence. Oh, like, man. I can't imagine just... I'm not gonna lie, I did a photo recently and I like it's like I'm like, oh no man. <laughs> I'm like I'm a little I'm a little conservative for this photo that I took. Yeah. And I haven't even shared it because I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe not. I'm like on the fence so nervous about it. Even I get, you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect, I'm not saying I'm like self you know, like righteous, like, oh I look at myself every day, I'm like, hello beautiful, you know, every day I'm like but I do Am I the only one that does that? No, no, no. Every day I look at myself and I think, okay, what did I do today that made a difference? Like I, I really do. It's kinda of cheesy. But with the situ the life situation, I in high school and college I worked with victim advocates program and I've worked with women who were victims of physical, mental, and sexual abuse and you see these things. You see these people these these poor like women who've been in horrible situations or children too, young men, young women. And you know, it <laughs> It's so petty, the, the stupid stuff. It breaks my heart sometimes. Um, but uh, I just try to make every day treating everyone like an equal. I'm I'm an open book, you know. Sometimes I, I, I say stupid stuff, you know, just just jokingly, like gang banging. <laughs> but uh, for example, I was gang banging at one time. Uh, but all joking aside, um, you see these. I mean, if anyone like. <sighs> I'm trying to say it without like being at like a dead horse, okay? Yeah. People have it so good, and people don't appreciate or value themselves enough sometimes. Yeah. So I like to sit back and think on something I did or something that I did that made a difference in the day, or you know, I always want to be like, okay, tomorrow we're gonna do better, you know, that sort of thing. So, like with cosplay, you know, people are like, oh, it must be so great to be a guest and have all these fans and they buy you gear. And it's like, no, it's not. A, no, 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 no. Because then you feel like you, you, you're, you feel like yeah. you have to do something back for them. It's well, that's, that's the thing I'm getting to is yeah. because of all these people who have supported me, who have brought me here, I work so much harder. Because I realize that becoming a cosplayer and becoming a guest, I'm now an entertainer yeah. in a regard. And sort of people come to me to listen to me and to talk. And, mm -hmm. It's just, it means a lot. One, it means a lot because one, I'm just again, garbage can. Now I get the wee boot trash. Now I get, uh, take a shot every time Liz says wee boot trash. No, um, no, I kid, I kid. Um, I am one of those people. It's just I'm honest with people. I'm real. I don't have any drama in my life. I'm pretty. I'm good to go. You know. Yeah. I just want to be happy. I've had people like be like, you seem too happy. What are you hiding? And I just start <laughs> laughing like. Your smile is fake, and I'm like... You don't understand how genuine the smile really is. It's like... <laughs> I yeah. just start, I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to poop in your oatmeal today, you know? <laughs> oh my god, no. you shit in your cereal. I did. Uh, no, I kid, pretty much. But it's funny, um, I actually... One of the things that, I, uh, that happened to me was uh, my cat got sick. And uh, a friend of mine made a GoFundMe. A friend went out of their way and made a GoFundMe for me to like for my cat. Wow. <laughs> because it was thirteen grand. <laughs> so um, it was not. I was transparent with the bills. And I was doing YouTube videos. I was literally feeding her through a feeding tube every two hours, mm -hmm. alone by myself. Like I had to leave work and take power naps. Like it was the worst like two weeks of my life. But somebody this wonderful place on the world who should never go called 4chan somebody posted that uh i was lying about my cat being sick to line my pockets of riches <laughs> i mean it's funny because you're gonna i'm i'm, I'm saying this not because i'm bitter or like anything like that like i legitimately felt bad for this person like yeah. Why, you know, I didn't, I literally just, I kind of laughed, because I'm like, are you kidding me, bro? You know, yeah. like, what? It's, 
it's it's pathetic. It really is. It's low. It's petty. And I, I just felt horrible for this human being. Like, I said to them, I was like, I wish they had someone in their life that cared about them as much as, like, my friend who cared about me that did that. You know, I feel like yeah. people like that don't have anybody. And they're, you know, it's just... It makes me sad. It makes me sad. And the thing is with this community, you can make so many friends so easily. You know, there's no need to be a butt. Like, I try at shows. I had to disable messaging on my page because I was getting too many, unfortunately. But when I'm at these shows, I really like to take time with everybody. It doesn't matter if they're famous or established or maybe they're small timers just getting started with a podcast. You yeah. know, it doesn't matter who you are. You're all going to be equal to me and I'm always going to try my best. To make you feel like I care, I'm genuine, I want, you know. Yeah. So sometimes at shows, I, I, I don't get to have more than a three minute conversation, but I try to make that three minutes of value and worth something. Yeah. I, I don't know how the bigger names do it. Yeah. You it's, know? It's. I don't know. I'm not, I'm a small fish in a big pond, you know, I'm riding the wave right now, you know, I'm going with the flow. Having a good time, but when I was looked to to give in this responsibility, with great power comes great responsibility, you know, I said, okay, what's my mark on this cosplay community going to be? If people are going to listen to me, what do I want to, what do I want to broadcast? What do I want to be? And this is what I want to be. Mickey Mouse gangbangs. Mickey Mouse gangbangs. <laughs> no, 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 don't do the goofy laugh. That oh. weird, that weird, no, I can't do it. I said, I love Disney, it's great. <laughs> looks to the side awkwardly that one time though. No, I kid, I kid. I hate the movie Hunchback of Notre Dame. I'm just gonna go on the side ramp. No, I kid. <laughs> well, as, long as, as long as you don't hate the fox and the hound, we're good. Oh my god! Instant tears. Oh, yes. Instant, like, crying. Yeah. Uncontrollable crying. Oh my god. <laughs> but no, um, yeah. Yeah. I Man, I could go on for hours about shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> I laugh, I laugh. How are we doing anyway? Yeah, we're doing I good. I mean, I'm good. Good. Yeah. We're ranting forever now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. So, hopefully, I mean, and that's the thing, too. Like, when people, if people come to me with cosplay questions, mm -hmm. I will bend over freaking backwards as soon as I humanly possibly can to try to answer them. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, I know people are like, I emailed Yaya Han and she didn't get back to me. And I was like, it's Yaya Han, bro. Like, yeah. calm down. <laughs> like, it's, I mean, this thing, too, is like, if you're a cosplayer and you know you need help or something, there's a million there's a million things like I'm self-taught sewing. Yeah. And uh, like I've learned everything from other people too, like people in the community. Like, Google, Google, Google and YouTube are just and some of the biggest helps. In, like, I say you know cosplay. don't go to like you know Yaya Han and J Hard Design or like these yeah. these professional like I mean don't go to bullpen props and be like hey teach me how to do this. It could, let's be realistic. They just yeah. don't have time. They have, Legitimately, yeah, they're, yeah, they're running. They're literally yeah. running a business, which they is are. their name. Like their and name is the business, and they are the product. You yeah. Know? So you know, Volpe Props has all these books. You know, Punish Props has these books. Like Kamui Cosplay from Jeremy, amazing. I've learned how to do everything with armor because of her. Like, well, at least on the Warblow side. So, um, it's it, and it's the thing too is I like people to go not just in person but online too on social media. Yeah. I literally follow every cosplayer that I can. I've made additional I'm Facebooks. I'm, I'm glad I'm not. To the, follow them. I'm glad I'm not the only person yeah. that does that. Because every time I see, I, every time I see a new cosplayer yeah. show up, I'm just like, who are you? All right, cool. Like, yes. yes. I try to be friends with everybody, and sometimes people get hurt because I'll go to a show, and the thing is, I get up early in the morning. I get up at 6 a.m. I could be on the floor by 8, mm -hmm. you know, sort of thing. I work all day at my booth. I do whatever events or panels or hosting or whatever judging contests. Mm -hmm. And now here it is, you know, like for example, like, you know, it, what's it like 10 o'clock? You know, yeah. it's 10 o'clock. And it's like, oh, I'm gonna go to bed, sorry, I'm gonna bounce. You know, that sort of thing. It's like, I, you make so many friends, sometimes you don't want to disappoint people too. Yeah. I've actually run myself sick too many times at Con because I try to hang out with everybody. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> uh, Okay, Thanks. Yeah, definitely. Sorry. Random, random photo op. No, uh, yeah. I kid. Um, it's uh, one of those things, um, I can't I can't be in a million places at once. I think if I could have a superpower, it would be I split myself into multiple people. Or control the weather, or make money happen magically all the time. Or a magical Powerball ticket number winning, whatever. See yeah. the future, done. I kid. <laughs> but um, it's just one of those things. Uh, 
Uh, you you will find a good balance. I'm just ranting about my own like stupid problems, which are petty and no one really even needs to hear about. But so if you meet me ever and we hit it off and you know and I'm like I'm gonna go somewhere I'm sorry you know you know there's people who uh, will give the other bigger name cosplayers like oh I met her and she just like walked past me you didn't give me the time of day sort of thing and like, no, no, this like morning. they need to be in a million places yes. at once yes. yes like I have to have sometimes like I have to have security walk me around like if I'm in certain costumes I gotta get to events if I have a big costume like. I have to have security, you yeah. know, like move me so I don't insult people because yeah. I can't stop every five minutes. Um, it's a totally different world when you're a guest, you know, and everybody's eyes are on you, which is funny because I never wanted to do TV meteorology for that reason. Yeah. But uh, at least with the cosplay, I have my own control, my own power, and cosplay whatever I want, you know. Um, yeah. I'm going to breathe for a second. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I've so much. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, this then this next question will probably take you a while to think about, but yeah. uh, what's your favorite cosplay that you've ever seen? Oh, ever seen? That you've ever? Ever, se ever seen ever. <laughs> take your time. It's like, can we break that down? I'm gonna be such a tool and be like, can we break that down? Huh. Like, the one that stood out to you the most, where you're just like, if, if I knew how to do that, or if I... If I was able to like wear that, I would be completely satisfied with life. I'll never be satisfied. <laughs> because I feel like, I mean, if you get to the point where you are not satisfied, I mean, you don't want to keep learning, you don't want to keep striving, you know, you don't want to keep growing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'll, I'll generally just be like, okay, I'm out, peace, and I'll move on to something. I feel like if I yeah. feel that's sort of thing. But with this community, there's so much you can learn. You and know. it's always expanding. Too. It's always expanding. There's new materials coming out, like Black Warbler just came out, Transparent Warbler came out. Like really? Super, yes. Oh my God, Secret I'm Warbler. Ready. Yeah, it's I'm great. Ready. I'm on it. No. <laughs> um, this is fabulous. You should try it. Uh, Black Warbler is cool. It's kind of got like, um, it's got a smoother texture, so you don't have to like clean it up as much. Okay. Um, like it's normal Warbler. Uh, nice. Less sanding. <laughs> no. Um, it's getting cheaper too. 3D printing and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, what could I do? What cosplay? That's that's like impossible to answer. Fuck. <laughs> I have my favorites. Um, mostly, usually my favorite costumes are ones that are like so niche that only if you were like a fan of that series like forever, you know, like very like pay homage to. You know, you're I've that been, one character from that one episode that, one that happened that had, once. Like, once. Yeah, I yeah. love. I know. I mean. Don't get me wrong, like, I love every Harley Quinn cosplayer. Like, I love yeah. Harley Quinn. I love her character. She messed up. You yeah. know, I love every interpretation of her. I love seeing everyone as her, you know. Um, occasionally, someone will surprise me with a new design. I'm like, holy crap, that's so good, you know. Holy shit. Um, but, like, if I see someone cosplay, say, from Bloodborne, I love Bloodborne. I've been games my life. Or, actually, I saw a guy from Dark Souls at the last show I was at. Nice. And he's such, like, a like a side character. Mm -hmm. Like, I walked up to him and I was like... <gasps> I can't believe you did this. <gasps> Thank you. <gasps> he's like... You know, you know who I am? I'm like, and I just do like the signature like pose that he does in the game, and the dude's like, you know who I am! And I'm like, I know who you are! You know? And I, because I actually cosplayed from the game, and I wore it to Dragon Con, and one guy came up to me the entire, like, the entire day. Dragon Con. One person knew who I was. And he was just as excited as I was about that moment when one person fucking recognized me in this one costume. It was my Dusk of Ola Seal from Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. When he went, and we just, I mean, like, for hours, man, just fucking hours, we just, like, just, just kept talking about this game because it's, like, such kind of, like, a niche thing. Um, there was this one guy, oh, man, yeah, I, actually, at Dragon Con, there was this person who dressed up, there's this, there's an anime called, um, The Evil Flowers, or The Flowers of Evil, it's hot, what, you, if you don't know, it, it, it's it's warped. It's really dark. It's really twi like mentally like bleh. it's not well known and it's very heavy like weird like whoa this is fucked up like I'll I'll look super kind of like psychological what the hell am I watching as soon as I get home I'm gonna have to look that up <laughs> it's weird and not many people know it and someone dressed up as the flower like the actual flower itself That's awesome. and um, me and my uh, significant other we were walking and. 
we both we just grabbed each other. Like we're just like, <gasps> like and we walked up and we're like, like I cried actually. I like cry. I'm gonna cry again. I literally like just like tears were in my eyes. Like I've never seen anyone costume from it. Like and like especially the flower too. And like and we talked with this again. It was one of those things like we just talked for hours and hours. Like. Holy shit, I'm so appreciative you've done this, you know. I did a He-Man group once and like people, you know, that was cool. I mean He-Man's a little more popular, you know. Yeah. But um just just stuff like that. Those are my favorite per se, the ones that lead to conversation. I love wearing Legend Dragon Maru, um because it was such an experience for me. I was so nervous because again, like here I was, twenty five, never in the bathing suit. This is the one I yeah. after all my weight loss, um, I uh, was so nervous. I was about. I couldn't get out of the car, and uh, yeah, my guy looks at me and he's like, "Get out! Get out! You just spent three hours getting ready. Get out of the vehicle now!" <laughs> like, I'm like, I can't do it. I was at MegaCon. I was like shaking. I was like, I can't get out of the truck. I can't. People are gonna, people are gonna judge me. Gonna, huh, 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 huh. You know, he's like, just get yeah. out of the fucking get out of the fuck truck. Get yeah. out of the fuck truck right now. No. I helped you sell yourself in that. Get the fuck out of the truck now. <laughs> I was like, what if, what if? He's like, no one's gonna fuck with you, Liz. People are gonna love it. Just get out of the truck. Well, it looks like Trent. No, it looks fine. Just get out of the I was so insecure. Like, you don't understand. This was such a, like, well, once you got in me there. putting myself out. Like, I was putting myself out there so hard. I've never done anything like that. Mm -hmm. And I opened the door. And as I opened the door, someone screams, Maru! <laughs> and I, like, fucking, like, Close the door. I'm like, ah! you know, I'm like, I just like poop my pants, you know, like right there. And I was, I just like freaked. I was like, <gasps> and the guy runs up and goes, oh my god, I love Legend Dragoon. I love this. Oh my god, you're my favorite character, you know. And I, like, the shakes went away like that. Like, I stopped. Like, I was really nervous. I said, I mean, the guy, we started talking. Just having a good time. We were talking about the game, the bell system, you know, collecting stardust, like all this shit from And the, the next game. thing you know, you're halfway into I'm the I'm literally con. in the con with thousands of people around me, people stopping me and asking me for photos. And then just, it was just such an experience, again. It was such a warm opening experience, mm -hmm. you know. I really put myself out there and people accepted that, you know. Um, sometimes people don't, yeah. you know, and that's okay. But that day, every someone made a comment to me when I was in Maria, and they're like, "Oh, thank you for fitting into that." Little did this guy know wow, that I lost a fifty pounds. Compliment. Like, thanks for fitting into that. I literally said, "I was like, hey, you know, that's that's inappropriate." Yeah. Like, I was like, "Listen, I know you're like intending to compliment me, but that's an, that's actually kind of insulting." Yeah. By the way, I lost fifty pounds like yeah. in this past year. So what you're saying to me is, you know. I'm only, my value as a person is only because I'm thin. Like, yeah. And that's not the case. I'm the same person no matter what weight I am or shape or form. You yeah. Know? I, I kind of like, I literally talked to this dude and this guy was like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I, I didn't mean it that way. I, I, he, and I was like, well, that's how it comes off. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't like, fuck you, buddy. Yeah. I was like, you suck, you know. I was like, oh, you got you. But I was like, hey, let me talk to you for a second. Like, you don't don't say this to people. Don't say yeah. this to women, especially. Oh my god. Just... Don't say this to people. Yeah. It's funny because he went up to to my boyfriend. He was like, can I say this to her? And my boyfriend looked at him. He goes, she'll deck you before I do. Like, what he said. <laughs> and, and you know, the guy's like, oh, I don't know if I should say that to her. You know, that sort of thing. Well, if you don't um, know if you should say it or not, the only way you can find out yeah. is if you say it. Well, yeah, and once uh, I, you know, I had someone like grab me at a show, oh and I made God. a scene. <laughs> That's a couple Just, things. I'm not a fan is... of people touching me. Oh God. That I. I'm not a fan of people inappropriately like coming yeah. at me and touching me. I made a scene. I, I. Mm, mm. I hate making the comparison, but it's like when when you're uh, like interacting with a cosplayer, I, yeah. it's I hate making this comparison because it's it's not the ask. right one. It's uh, but even when you ask, even when you ask, it's like uh, when you're at a strip club, you don't touch the yeah. person. Yeah. Even even if they make like some form of advance, you should like definitely be like, 
So hey, it's can okay. I put my arm, arm on around, you? Yeah. May I put my arm around your hip? Yeah. You know, something like that. Like, uh, or if you're I, wearing armor, like I'll go around the armor. Like there's, yeah. I won't touch somebody. But. Like uh, I know one guy. Like I was with my girlfriend. Like she was. She, uh, God, sorry. And he was like, he's like, hey, can I, can I like put my arm around her? She's like, yeah, sure. And he literally like hugged around her waist, and she like froze. I was like, uh, she she was like, she stood there and the person was about to take a picture. I walked and put my hand in front of the camera. And I said, you let go of her right now. That is inappropriate. Excuse me, sir. You did not ask her to hug her around the waist and put your head on her thigh. Yeah. This is too far. Like, you know, and the guy's like, oh, don't be such a tart ass. I was like, no, no, I'm going to be because you were in, you were invading her space. You were yeah. assaulting her. You were making her uncomfortable. You yeah. do not do if that. If you make somebody feel she uncomfortable, She is not you here for to... your entertainment. I didn't sew this, co- she didn't sew this costume for 300 hours so you could just like brawl and drool and like, you know, do this. Like, yeah. this wasn't for you, this was for her. That's the yeah. thing too. So I don't do the cosplay. Well, I mean, now in a way I do. <laughs> but yeah. in the beginning, you know. It's not something. If it's not it if it's not for you, who yeah. is it for? I do my characters for me, but the way I represent them and the way I work hard it's on them for the is people. for the people who have supported me. Yeah. So it's two different things, two different streets. Um, you know, I had one guy. He literally like, I was like, he's like, man, I'm like, yeah, sure, and he like put his hand on my butt. I looked at him and I was like, like, bro. Can you not? I looked at him. He's like, he's like, oh, sorry, baby. I'm like, I ain't your baby. <laughs> oh, just, just double whammy. I was just like, right there. I, just, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, listen. I didn't say I ain't your baby. No, oh, they're man. like, I was like, you know what? I'm uncomfortable. That was inappropriate. I hope you have more respect for someone else in the future. And I like walked away. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, I just want fudge. Come on, baby, don't be like that. And then you know. The boyfriend, like, muscle face, like, walks up. The guy's like, oh, sorry, bro. Give me a touch here. of babe. You know, like, yeah. that sort of thing. And uh, I do actually, I, I kind of try to keep guys with me. I hate to be like that, but I, I do try to keep a guy with me, like, at yeah. conventions because sometimes it happens. A little bit of muscle's not bad. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I don't want to be that guy. But the thing is, too, is part of, like, I am a figure, and I don't want to be known as, oh, yeah, go, go mess with her and, like, get her worked up, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah. Or bend over. There are people who will deliberately, like, try to push, 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 push. I'll be nice, and I'll push, 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 push. And I look at the, I just look at my go-to person, my helper, and they make them weep. <laughs> so, yeah. I kind of, I'm, I bend over backwards to not make a scene or anything like that. Um, yeah. Once I uh, I was with a girlfriend, and this guy was like, can I get a photo? I was like, yeah, sure. And my girlfriend gets next to me, and he goes, not the fat one. Fuck. No. No. And she started crying right there. Oh, my God. I did not, I did not respond kindly. I wasn't a guest at this time, legitimately. Oh, man. I would never do this again, but I pretty I've, much, I pretty I'm much looked at it and I was like... I'm surprised you didn't, like, start throwing hands. Man. Oh, my God. No, I was a martial artist, actually. I'm a second-degree black belt. I know how to control myself. But I pretty much looked at him, I'm like, you're one to fucking talk, buddy! And I, like, walked away. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I just walked away. I was like, I was like, who the hell do you think you are? How dare you? Yeah. I've had people like, because I had a girlfriend who was black and cosplayed a big white character with me, being like, no, you know, like, like, it's just, it's, there's horror stories. I think the worst one was, uh, <laughs> someone told me to not give up, uh, I should give up my day job and go in that costume finish board. <laughs> I laughed so hard. I laughed so hard. I found that one. I'm not gonna lie. I found yeah. that pretty funny. I was like, wow. Like, you have no tact. <laughs> oh, man. But no, I, I am telling these stories because I look back on them. They've been experiences. They're not, they're, I don't want to say they're bad experiences, okay? Yeah. I want to say they are experiences I need to have because in life, whatever community you work in or stuff like that, you're going to work with people or you're going to meet people or you're going to rub you the wrong way. And it's been a growing process. Growing pains, per se. Yeah. You know? I've never once cried because somehow someone treated me in cosplay. I've never once. I've in never broken them? down. No, no. I mean, I've never. Okay. I've never done that. Um, I cry about stupid things like getting a fight with a coworker at work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, stupid stuff like yeah. we didn't mean to, you know, like sort of thing or vice versa. You know, I showed up late for work and I cried like a baby because I was like, I'm so sorry. You know, 
uh, stupid stuff like that. I'll cry. Or like you know, fox and ham, for example. Yeah. So, but I never. I will. I actually pride myself on saying that. I've never let anyone get. To, never ever. So I've. I've. There. Mm, rewind. There's one example. Uh, there's do, only one time. Do tell. This is still a sensitive subject for me, but uh, if you don't, if you don't want to say, go. You don't have. No, to. I did some modeling stuff, mm -hmm. and I was very happy with the modeling stuff. And someone that I was close to felt that I was being a sellout. They, there was someone I was very emotionally invested in. Felt I was being a sellout. Felt I was going down the wrong path. Felt I was just doing this for attention, sort of thing like that. And it was someone I cared about a lot. And it ended, unfortunately, it ended our friendship. You know, like, you've gotten to, you know, you've become established in the community doing this, and now why are you doing, like, a lingerie shoot? Why are you doing this? I was like, because I have the confidence now, I feel good, and I want and you this want to look to do back it. on. This is something I want to do. Yeah. It's not a dollar bill sign. It's something I want to, like, have confidence, be like, hey, look, I can be goofy as fuck. I can dress as freakazoid and run around and, like, I have. Like you I have. Oh, I need to see that. Yeah, I actually won at SuperCon, like, two years ago, because I did a skit and everything. I had Handman, and, like, I can run around and be like, eh, I'm freak out, you know? <laughs> I could do shit like that, or else I could be like, I could be a different person. That's like what cosplay. You could be anybody. Yeah. You could be an evil villain. You could be like a sexy seductress, you know, and sexy's not my forte. I'm like, I'm a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Put some lipstick on me. Come on, <laughs> you know, it's funny. Um, you can be anything you want. And I, I didn't really have that side. I've always been, if you look at like myself, there's always like dirt photos and goofy. I'm a goofy person. I'm always Your laughing. Your profile picture. Uh, yes, yeah, yes. I'm always joking around. You've seen my profile. Yeah. yeah I'll just show people that it's great but I'm like oh you know shooting with me it's just all fun and giggles I'm having a good time sort of thing I have a lot of fun and I'm always goofing off with people and having dirt photos but you know sometimes I I want to I want to expand myself in the sense that uh of like a modeling sense as well like yeah I feel like I do all right you know um with what I've done but I want to actually be more professional in that regard something I'm expanding on and modeling and cosplay are two different animals yeah. The modeling community is totally different. Okay, I want to stress that wholeheartedly. They share some overlaps, but they're yes. they are two completely different things. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So you know, I don't have any professional training, so I'm kind of learning as I go. I've worked with people who are professional models and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and something I pursued. But when I decided to branch out and pursue that, unfortunately, I lost one of the people closest to me. Yeah. We talked it out and discussed it, and we decided that our careers and our plans in the cosplay community were going two different directions. So we parted ways. But that was probably the hardest thing I had to deal with, only because I was emotionless. Yeah. So, that being said, you know, you're not going to please everybody. People, you will disappoint people. Mm -hmm. I'm a nice person, I'm never mean to anybody, I stand up for my friends, that sort of thing. But. The actions I have done, and for, you know, sometimes I've lost people. I, yeah. I have. People are like, they don't, they have, everyone has their own mindset, their own ideology. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone does. Everyone has like fucking different religion or belief or whatever. Everyone has their own core system, what they feel something should be. What cosplay represents to them, for example, in this yeah. community. Some people, it's the fabrication and the competition, again, like we went. Other people, it's just having fun, getting shit first. <laughs> Why not both? No. Um, why not both? Why not both? God, why not both? No, I kid. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, some people who buy costumes and they wear them and they fucking rock them. There's nothing wrong with that. Or they commission someone else. Which if you commission someone to make a costume or you buy a costume, you are giving back into the community. You're saying, yeah. hey, I'm. You're supporting an artist. You are. Even if you buy from eBay, you know, or something shit like somebody... that. It's still. Like, as long as it's not mass production, you are supporting yeah. somebody's work. Well, yeah, there's some, like, mass production people in America, too. Yeah. You know, like, if you custom wear stuff, like, things like that. But there's such a market for it now. Even, like, Amazon has cosplays now. Yeah. Like, it's getting so big. And with the, the recent, with Marvel movies and everything else, too, now the, the, our, the nerd community is kind of cool. The you know? geek culture Look, has become pop culture. Have you walked into a hot topic at Spencer as opposed to 10 years ago to today? Oh, my God. It's, it's different. It's fucking night and day. But yeah. before, like, 10 years ago, it was like, Dutch Cat for Cutie all day or day. Linkin Park. Animal Corpse. Skin, you and, know, now it's, but, and now it's Funko Pops yeah, and Doctor Who. Yeah, it's like Funko Who. Pop, Doctor Who, fucking Minecraft, fucking Disney. Like, yeah. Fucking fuck. <laughs> 
Fuck it's yeah. amazing. The culture's changed so much with so many people in the eyes because people of our generation who are young, they're growing up now and they're having kids and they're introducing them these things too. And it's okay. It's, it's okay to the be culture, yourself. Yeah. The millennial generation, I know we get a lot of shit, but we're kind of like, you know what? Let's live in the moment. Let's have fun. Let's do what we want, sort of thing. I feel for the most part, our generation. I know some people may see that as a, in a negative sense, but I think in a, in a positive sense. Like, yeah. we we value our life and our self worth. You know, we're not gonna work at a dead end job forever if we hate it. Yeah. Some people still will. Some yeah. people will like be like, fuck this. I want to be happy. And they'll quit their job and they'll chase their dreams. I've never applied to any like yeah. store or restaurant or anything like that that I know that I would have been upset if I. St- if I was there, oh, yeah. I've only ever applied to places yeah. that I would want to be. I and I'm I, I know people are like, oh well, not everyone can be what they want to be. I think you be whatever the fuck you want to be if you work hard for it. Yeah. And you're a good person. If you dedicate yourself to it, you yeah. can do whatever you Which, want. Which I'm the kind of person I go full balls in. I go full in, you know. Balls <laughs> in. <deep, laughs> <deep. laughs> no. I go full in when I get into a project or when I get into something. Yeah. Voice is good. And. I think with cosplay, it became an obsession, like, every day. Just, I must work on something. I must make stuff. And I mean, that, that 2014, I mean, I think... Creating... 18, 18 create- cosplays that year. Wow. 18. Holy crap. Yeah. People were like, like, oh my god, you made them all! I bought a couple. No, I didn't buy all of them. I didn't buy the majority of them. I made the majority. I did even modify clothing. Things like, I made stuff. If you have that out, that's one every three weeks. Yeah. Yes. I turned shit out. <laughs> let's say let's say I made I made or modified clothing on fifteen of them. Yeah. You know, that's, that's still a lot. Like I became nonstop. Go home from work, work on cosplay. Go home from work, work on cosplay. You know. And, I uh, think I think being a content creator yeah. is. Hard. It's it's a real it's, it's work. It's the real it's the real like driving force when yeah. it comes to a lot of art. Yeah. There's people that want to consume content and there's yeah. people that want to create content. And yeah. when those two types of people like mix, they when they come together, it's always going to be something incredible. Yeah, there's a lot of big name people I used to follow and they've kind of dropped, you know, dropped off the map. Yeah. Too, because they've gotten so big and they're like, oh, I don't need to generate that much content in general now. And that's good for that. You yeah. Know? I want to see them make shit all the time, personally. But, yeah. like, you know, um, it's hard. It's hard to create content all the time, too. And there's so many different things you can do and so many things branch out. That sort of jazz. Yeah. Um, for anybody who is interested in making cosplay like a full time thing, you know, be a good person, work your butt off. You know, apply to shows, and even if you don't get in as a guest of shows, you know, work the social media. I, I think every person should have at least three social medias: Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, at least, or whatever you want. Yeah. Um, Snapchat. Twi- I feel like now. I feel like Facebook and Twitter are definitely the yeah. two. Or Facebook's if, where I got my yeah niche per se. Your your last I think when I looked last time, it was either forty three or forty five thousand. They're just numbers. <laughs> no, I kid, I kid. Uh, I. I get. I wish. I'll be. I'll be honest. I wish I could hide all the numbers. I wish I could. Yeah. Because it's it's really disheartening sometimes because people will be like, oh, and they'll look at the number and just make an assessment right away. Uh, I, I when I first started yeah. liking cosplayers on Facebook, I I started with all right, who has the most followers and the first obviously there's a lot of people. There, yeah. The first one is. Uh, yeah, Jessica Negri yeah, and Yaya yeah. Han. Okay. Yeah. And then you just dive deeper from there. And yeah, and I'm like, yeah, I'm a small fish. So yeah. I have what, let's say 45,000 on yeah. Facebook. Okay, mm-hmm. somewhere around here. I'm close. Um, there are so many amazing people that I follow that have like hundreds of likes. Yeah. That. They're not known, they're not established, but they are so fucking good. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people who don't get that like huge following. People. I'm friends with people who don't, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, there are other people too who are very thirsty for this fame idea. They don't realize how much work it is. And actually, there's kind of a debate going on right now in the community with people who have been guests and judges that there are too many people who don't know their worth and they're settling for such low standards. Yeah. Like, they'll like, oh yeah, I'll come do your show for free. I'll fly myself out there. I'll pay for my hotel. I'll do whatever you want me to. Just let me be a guest. And that's like, no. What are you doing? I'm sorry, I like slammed on the table. I'm like, no, your time is worth money. I tell yeah. every artist that you don't fucking go and work something for free because you'll get great exposure. Yeah. Quotes, you know, you've seen the cartoons, the, yeah. the, the, the little memes and stuff. You're doing this for exposure. No, no, if you're good at something, get paid for it. Yeah. I think if you, I, I'm okay at this. Or the worst, or yeah. if you ask, the worst possible thing that can happen they is they say, say no. no. Yeah. 
That being said, sometimes shows are small and you can compromise and work out something. Yeah. You know, like, oh, well, give if me you a can, booth. If you yeah. can't get a feature for 30 days, try to get a feature for one. Or Do try something to... local. Yeah. Do something local. Like, don't apply to San Diego Comic Con and be like, yo, I'm the boss there. Hire I have, me. I have 500 likes. I have 500 likes. <laughs> you know, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. You know, it doesn't work. I mean, if it does, more power to you. If oh, it yeah, works, you know. email me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let me know your secret. Yeah. Where is your genie in a bottle? No, I kid. Um, like I said, I've just met people. I've been genuine. I'm honest. I accept everyone. I, I've networked. Yeah. Unintentionally. Honestly. When it when it comes to like entertainment, when it comes to entertainment and show business, it's not about what you know. It's who you know. It's to a point. Yeah. Yeah, to a point. Yeah, I think some law plays in there too. Oh, there's. <laughs> yeah. I un- think without, unintelligible amount of law. Yeah. It's it's. Damn it! I want the Powerball. I'm not that lucky. You know, I'm still, still bitter about that Powerball. I would have even accepted getting five numbers. Right? I would. I mean, that's only a million dollars. Yeah. But I would have been happy with fifty grand. Okay, let's be honest. Yeah. Like it. That would pay off. That would pay off my student, student debt. Loans. At least. Yeah, yeah. I was like my student loans be gone. You know. I know. I, I'll, I'll joke around with people. I'm like, man, I hope I die young. And like, they're like, why? I'm like, so I'll pay off my student loans. <laughs> you know, just joking. Like, I don't really want to die. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, you know. Just, Totally joking. Suicide's not funny. Um, so, uh, but yeah, there are people in the community. That's a huge debate right now. Is um, know your worth. Know yeah. what you're worth. You know, the like sexy booth babes at like convention stuff. They make three hundred dollars a day. Just yeah. There. I was a booth babe today. Uh, did you make bank? Uh, did you flash your little. Woo, you know I think I, I think I got paid a little extra today. Flash your eyes. Like, more than my eyes. <laughs> more than your eyes. You twerk, then you. You twerk for the dollars. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, I'm kidding. kidding. <laughs> no, um, you know, it's it's one of those things. Like, uh, and there's some people who go out there and they reach for it, and they're too strong. Mm-hmm. I've met many a person here who has not been genuine and saw me as a rung on the ladder. Unfortunately. Yeah. That's hard sometimes because I feel I might get a little invested in someone. I think, oh, hey, you're cool, you're in the community, you want to be my friend, that sort of thing. And then I realize it's ulterior. Yeah. But that's just like life in general. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you only meet people who want you for something. Yeah. Um, but then again, I, I talk a lot about all this. The thing is, the truth of the matter is, I have a career. Mm-hmm. I love in the door. I'm never going to quit it. Yeah. And ne- never, never. Even if, well, I say this now. I'll we'll never quit it. You know. As um, long as, as long as there's a I'm moon, happy. I think you'll have a job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They have tides and weather, and the plants rotating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're good. Um, but um, no, as long you know, as long as the earth doesn't get destroyed, I'm good to go. So yeah. uh, no, no, no. Um, but I love my job. I love my career. Cosplay won't be there forever for me. I know what I mean. Like to the point how I've been doing it. Yeah. I can't make this full time forever. You know, maybe oh, one no. day I want a family and settle down and all that. And I'll have to back off. But long story short, um, I don't have any pressure because this is a hobby again. Yeah. Now, mind you, it's turning into a second career for me personally. Yeah. It has. It has been turning into a second career per se. It's taken up so much of my time. And marketing and you know, planning panels, sitting down, like arranging things with people. That takes time, yeah. I, like people are like, oh, it must be so great to be a guest. You know, you don't just show up and sit there and sell friends. No. You know? You're marketing. You're promote. You know, you're promoting yourself. You're promoting your business. You're making graphics. You're, you're announcing regularly. You're talking about the show. You're making panels. You're making powerpoints. You're making presentations. You're hosting. You know. You got a plan. It's you're researching the other guests. Yeah. You're researching the contest, the show, the rules. You'll reach out to those other guests. Yes, you'll you will. you'll network with them. Yes. That all of that takes time. Yes. And it's, it's for, I'm an extrovert. Yeah. I'm a socially awkward extrovert to a point. I mean, very socially awkward. The idiosyncrasy is there. It is. <laughs> socially awkward extrovert. Yeah. Um, to the point that sometimes I'm just like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm high energy. I'm high energy. But after a three-day weekend con, I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> it takes the week. You need the week to recharge. Yeah. I do. I do. Um, it's, yeah. Oh, God. I fucking do. God. But no, the thing like my favorite cosplay of all time. That's I've still been thinking about it in the back of my head while I talk to you. Uh, let me let me simplify it. So What's hard. what what is your favorite cosplay that you've ever done? Jesus. <laughs> Give me a harder question. Why not? No, I kid, I kid. And it's a total cop out answer, so I apologize ahead of time. 
Maru is special because she gave me body confidence. Um, my my succubus Catherine from the video game Catherine, that gave me confidence that I could, and my dust, like those gave me confidence that I could produce like something good. Like if people saw my succubus Catherine, I couldn't move for a spot for like two hours when I won. I could not move. I really had to pee too. And I pretty, it was awful. No, I get, I get. But it was kind of in that moment, I was like, wow, people really appreciate what I do. Like, when I did the Succubus Catherine, I felt people appreciated me, which was a, a defining moment. When I did Maru, I had a lot more confidence in myself, so, like, those two are good. I think, you know, when I did Dusk and I had that experience of, like, having that conversation with that guy, like, with each costume I can do, I can tell you a story of an experience I had with it. So, collectively, they're all different things that make me love them. There's one that I don't like to talk about. That's my Merman from He-Man. It's awful. It's falling oh, apart. Man. I was just butthurt. I was so butthurt <laughs> about falling apart. But then again, there's still a positive to it. I met this girl. Her name is Michelle. She goes by Nine Lives, Cos Nine Lives Armory. And now we're good friends, and like she's one of like my new best buds, and we talk, and I look like trash again. <laughs> we boo trash, take a shot. Um, you know, even in the shit costumes, the, the garbage ones, I I still had good experiences. I met people, and uh, I'm trying to think. Even like this cosplay today that and I'm wearing. And tell tell everybody what you're wearing. Oh yeah, I'm wearing a. a I can't even talk. I'm uh, wearing Nora from the Rooster Teeth production, Ruby, R-W-B-Y. Uh, she's this very hyper, high-energy girl, if you couldn't tell. She talks too much, if you couldn't tell. AK, it's me. Uh, no, she has like coral, like orange, I guess, hair, and uh, I like orange hair, whatever. I'm getting, up, I'm getting to the point. But the thing is, with this costume, um, I did it with friends and I had a good time, you know, um, I actually got to do more leather work, I got to branch out, actually, this is my second top that I made, the first one I completely really? destroyed before, like, the day I was heading to the convention. Oh, man. I was like, no! I cried, I cried so hard. Um, but yeah, I met so many cool people today in this, and I do love it. I love it. People aren't, you know, people are cool. It's just family friendly. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. So let's, let's see what else. The rest of this year, um... Where, where are you going to be the rest of the year? Are you making a new, What other appearances are you making? Usually, um, I send out emails to shows I want to do again. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, I was at show last year, do this, da, 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 da. I, I'll do that. But I don't know where I'm going to be right now. Because I'm applying for promotions within my career um, in other locations. So I might not be here, per se. Um, but what I have booked so far. Yes. That I definitely have booked so far. Two that are officially booked is um, Freecon. No, three. Three books? Three books. Yes. Four books. Four. I lied. <laughs> it keeps growing. Son of a bitch. Um, so, Freecon, which is this free little convention where I wore my best in show years ago in Tallahassee when I went to Florida State University. Um, uh, that's going to be in March. Then I have uh, uh, Space Coast Nerd Fest. High five. You're going to be there. You're going to be there? Yeah. Yes. I'll be there. Awesome. Um, that's going to be, uh, yes, that's in April. Okay. I'll be a guest there. Uh, I'll be a guest at Supercon. Okay. I'll be a guest at Anime Miami. Um, I believe I will be back for Fandom Con at Holiday Mossery. I may be showing up at MegaCon. If you do go to MegaCon. Maybe. We might see I've been other. talking to people. Uh, I'll be at San Diego Comic Con as an attendee. I want to just for fun. I want to go to SDCC again. I've never been. It. Yeah. I hear you, it's a mind changing experience. Like, it. That was my first con. <gasps> SDCC what? was my first con in what? 2000, 2008, and it changed. It. It was my first like dive into this entire community. And That's just, a hell of a first con. Yeah. It was. It was four days of just nonstop, just Sensory happiness. Overload, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, when the first time I went to Dragon Con, like, I was like, whoa, you know. Yeah. Metrocon was my first convention in Tampa in uh, 2007. And uh, Megacon was a great experience, too. Like, I loved Megacon. I was like, wow, it's big. And then 
with Supercon. Then when I went to Dragon Con, though, I still we, we, we're, um, we're doing podcast right now. So there you go, right. it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you for the crackers. Somebody give me food. Totally worth it. <laughs> Um, yeah, Dragon Con. Have you been to Dragon Con yet? I haven't been. That's in uh, Atlanta? Yeah, it's pretty much like downtown Atlanta. Oh my God. Everything. It just goes crazy. It's if, like, I think there was like 85,000 attendees last year. Yeah. Like, if, if I can convince my friend to make the eight hour drive, yeah. uh-huh. I, I'm assuming you'd fly in? Like, oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, I have to fly. Cause, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's right here where I live now. It's a three and a half hour drive to Miami. It was about the same for us, too, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. So, um, yes, go. If you have never been to DragCon, you should go if you're an adult. Free promotion for DragonCon. Yeah, right? <laughs> no, it's an experience. Too many people. Too many people. If you thought DragonCon was too many people, I just can't wait. San Diego can't is going to be completely Too cool. many people in a good way. Everyone's your best friend at yeah. DragonCon. Everybody's having a good time. Everyone's happy. I absolutely adore DragonCon. Um, God. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, yes. God, Dragon Con's so great. Uh, Phoenix Comic Con's great, too. I love that one, too. That was great. Uh, these, these shows here in Miami, I love. Um, the gentleman who runs the show, he does a good job. I think he does a great job. Uh, shout out to him. So, but yeah. All of, yeah. all of the great fans of uh, Magic City Comic Con. They're walking around everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all screaming right now. Yeah. I uh, this is my first Magic City. This is my first Magic City as well. Yeah. I'm I'm very happy with uh, how everything's turned out today. Uh, actually, for this entire weekend so far, uh, this is my first con back since uh, New York City Comic Con. I I've never been that. I hear it's great though. It is it is the San Diego Comic Con of the East. Of the East. Yeah. 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 Uh, See, Dragon Con's cool too because it's well, okay, like San Diego Comic Con, it's like news and announcements, celebrities. Same with New York. Yeah. Dragon Con is like heavy cosplay. Yeah. Like, heavy, intense. Like you I, bring your best. Yeah. Like it's awesome. Everybody wants a party. Um, I've heard many a thing about Dragon Con parties. <laughs> if you shake, could see the shake, look on my face. <laughs> shake, nodding her head in. Uh, Despairing yet happy manner. Ah, Dragon Con, Dragon Con, Dragon Con. Once you hit like seven, eight o'clock, it's it's a different place. It's a beast. The beast of the dragon. No, I love it. The cosplay contest is just amazing there. Like it's you want to be blown away. Like you want to see some good stuff. You know, I hear Blizzard World. Uh, you know, if you're a World Warcraft fan, stuff like that, they have Blitz amazing Con. Con, or BlizzCon. Yeah. Blizzard World. <laughs> see, that's how much I know. Okay, literally I just started playing Heroes of the Storm, but that's all I have right now. I've, I've been, I haven't played it in a while, but I'm addicted to Hearthstone. Oh, I have it on my phone, actually. I lied. Yeah. I lied, sorry. Oh, and I played Diablo 1 too when I was a kid, but I never, okay. I haven't played 3 yet. I, I still hear people whine about the console being not very good. Yeah. I hear that. Eh. I'll get around to it. Yeah. I'll get around to it. <laughs> what about you? What's your favorite thing? Uh... Game. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, favorite cosplay that I've probably done, and like all I've done is uh, closet cosplays, where it's just, like a T-shirt and like pants and maybe a hat. Those are the best, though. Yeah. Uh, I did a uh, hipster Yamcha uh-huh. from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. And uh, it, I was just walking around uh, downtown Melbourne one day, and surprisingly enough, somebody came up to me and said, "Hey, are you?" You know, are you Yamcha? And I, and I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that today. And they're just like, oh, cool, awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, closet cosplays are really cool. Like, people get so creative with them too. Um, yeah. So, I'll do like hipster stuff occasionally. Like, I'm hipster Sailor Mercury from Sailor Moon today. I'm put on blue wig, done. <laughs> <laughs> blue wig, gold hairband, done. Fish shirt done. <laughs> it's, uh, glasses that don't have uh, yeah, only the frames. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Hipster glasses, or you know, uh, I yeah. Oh, and other costumes I, I like to do is like ones that like little kids like. I mean, when I see a little kid light up. When oh, I s- when I see little kids run up to Elsa, it just warms my heart because I know that there's still some like love in the world. I know. I just have to let it go. The happiness. Take a that shot. Yeah. I, <laughs> I know. Right. Take a shot. 
trash. No. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love like seeing the little kids and stuff. Like actually, my friend she works in Orlando. Shameless plug. Uh, they're Guardians of Justice. That's what they're called. And they go and they do, you know, they do superheroes and Disney princesses and things like that. And they go to hospitals in Orlando and the community's areas and around. Them. And she told me the first time, like, she walked into and did a hospital, like, it was so emotional. Can't like, imagine. I mean, I can't even watch the commercials. Like, they are I have to change the channel. Not I'm because like, it makes me sad, but because just, like, the music. <laughs> okay, I'm not a singer, guys. I'm not a singer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I can't take that. It's too emotional. I see, like, a little kitten in the cage reaching out. I just want to, like, hug my TV. Give me the kitten. Give me it. Give me it right now. I literally, when I adopted my cat, Hawk, I walked into, I walked into the the pound mm -hmm. to look at kittens, to look at the kittens. I ended up, he's a cat. I got yeah. him. He was like two years old at the time. But when I walked in, I saw all the cats. I'm not gonna lie. I had to leave the building because I was crying. <laughs> I was crying uncontrollably. Like, oh my god, when the Powerball thing like, adopt all the babies, I was crying uncontrollably. Oh my god. I am such an animal sense of the person. I can't, I can't, I can't. And kids too. Like, kids like that. Like, yeah. Meeting kids, with, like, I, I can't. I don't know, like, I love what they do. I don't know if I could be physically capable of being a character. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like people who, like, work in hospice or something like that. Like, it, I don't know. Or just, just in general, it's that kind of feeling. It's a different so kind of will. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think those people are the strongest and the most powerful. Those type of people who do that for the community, I love them to death. Like, the Guardians of Justice, if you live in the Orlando area and you're listening to this, look them up if you're interested in helping out with kids or, you know. Even if you're not in the Orlando area, if you're looking to give back and, like, give some joy to people, like, oh, even God, start, yeah. start it up yourself in your city and just... Please, yeah. Help others. Yeah. You know? Um... Some people don't like kids, and that's okay. You know, that's that's, fine, that's yeah. fine. You don't have to like kids, you know. But you can respect that, you know, that there are people going out if there. You, to if make you, if you like, difference. if you like making people happy. Yes. I mean, if you're all about yourself, then uh, why are you even listening to this, this, this podcast? Uh? Yeah. <laughs> Nah, I can't, I can't. Um, You're that guy with the thing. <laughs> okay, so for those who don't know what this happens, dude's dressed up as uh, the guy from Jurassic Park with the blue shirt and the red scarf and the cowboy hat. I forget what his name is. He was in the third movie. He's the main character in the third movie. Yeah. He, yeah. he was dude bro. He was dude broing it up with Baymax. Yeah. Baymax was like, You're that guy from Walking Dead. And dude just looked at him like, No. <laughs> No. <laughs> well, it's like I'll wear costumes, like, and it'll be obvious that I have, like, jokingly. And some, I have a guy. When he sees me at cons, like, I was Little Mac, you know, from Punch, you know, from Punch Ooh, Out. I've seen I so many Little good Mac Little Macs since the, the, the I've been here. There was a girl who did it today. I flipped out. The uh, little but, Asian girl. Yeah. Yes. I talked to her for like ten minutes. It was great. I was like, oh my god, I did Little Mac too. I love your. Yeah. Yeah. Again, there's me being me. Yeah. Um, but I did Little Mac, and this guy walks up. You're. You're Hajime no Ippo from the anime, right? <laughs> and this guy, the guy from Hajime no Ippo, who wears red gloves, red shorts, you know, no, nothing green at all. You yeah. Know? I just look at him and I was like, bro, I know you messing with me. And every cosplay that I do, like, I know if like, I wear, I'm wearing Spider Gwen tomorrow, he'll be like, oh man, you're Deadpool, right? Like, just, just to mess with me. He's really funny. He's a nice guy. I look forward to him, like, every time when I see him. He's, he's cracks me up. This, this thing is, you meet so many characters, fun people. Yeah. Again, so, um, I guess we'll I wrap it up. Then. Yeah. It ran it's for been, hours. oh my god, it, we've been doing oh god, this for so over long. an hour. It's been so long since I've got to do this, though, I'll be yeah. honest. I haven't had a long chat. Yeah. I just love talking about this stuff. Yeah. Uh, so... Before we wrap it up, is there any any more shameless plugs you'd like to do? That um, Jim plug. Um, well, I definitely have to thank the amazing people at Magic City Comic Con for having me here this weekend. Yes. I have to thank you guys for taking time out of your busy schedules to let me rant and bore your viewers uncontrollably. I've pretty much just killed your podcast for all time already. Oh god. Congratulations. No, I get it. I get it. Just change your name. It's, it's been it's been dead since. <laughs> since 
start of the first minute of episode one. There, oh no, I listened to your whole first podcast. I told you this the other day. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I laughed several times. It was a good way. I was like filling out Christmas cards and stuff. I was like, it was some bullshit. My delayed Christmas cards I loved in January, but long story short. <laughs> Uh, no, I think you guys are doing a great job. I think, you know, podcasts are cool. I'm one of those people that listens to them on the road and stuff all the time anyway. Like, yeah. I feel I always learn something. I get some sort of value from it. Um, insight. Mm-hmm. I love the Freakonomics podcast. <laughs> I listen to it all the time. Um, uh, other plugs. Yeah, definitely, again, the people I mentioned. Definitely check out uh, Guardians of Justice. There's so many people I've met and I love and I adore that I could go on for hours like you're gonna check out this person and this person and this person but no seriously just just go look look up hashtags or something I guess that's yeah. the thing that I say if you like uh, I don't know it'll be like Undertale hashtag, hashtag Undertale. cosplay on Instagram hashtag and just cosplay. like everything yeah yeah I, oh yeah personally like um, I have an email well, okay so I have Facebook I'm Leaping Lizard Cosplay uh, I have Facebook Twitter Instagram Snapchat you know Vine Twitch, Google Plus, Tumblr, you know, I have all those things. Pinterest. Pinterest, I do. Uh, I have all those crap. If you're interested in following me, if you're not, I'm so sorry. Sorry I wasted your time today. No, you um, I also have an email. Uh, I'm the, again, I, I, I try to reach out to everyone with my best ability. Mm-hmm. Legitimately, I can't have a 10 year conversation with everyone. You know, oh, that no. Sort of thing. I can't be everyone's bet. I mean, having 40,000 people, I unfortunately had to turn off my notifications because I would get like 300 messages a day like they were just like, yeah. hi! I'm like, uh, I can't. <laughs> yeah, when... I'm so sorry, I can't. <laughs> when when I first... When, hi, I sent, hi, hi. when I sent the email to reach out to you, I was just like, shit, she's probably got like an inbox just full of just stuff. I just, I move them quick. Like, so uh, when people if if people email me and are genuine, like I actually take time to read email right away. If it's something like "Hi, you're pretty. I have ten thousand dollars for you," I'm like thanks. Next. Come to Dubai. <laughs> Come to Dubai. Yay! I don't know what a type of accent I'm trying to impersonate, but whatever it is, it's great. It is awful. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe it's French for all I know. If you're French and listening to this and I offended you, I apologize. I love croissants. The knife, the tower looks pretty cool. Sorry about you that. You just triggered a whole bunch of French people. I know! You just triggered no, a whole bunch I of didn't. people that identify I as French. They're so nice. They're not triggered. That's, the <laughs> That's why I picked the French. They're so chill. They're chill as fuck. I kid. Now I get the one angry Frenchman. Now I get, I get. I They'll get. curse you about French now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Oh, croissant. Uh, I don't know any bad words in French. Like, oh, someone's gonna come and throw a croissant in my face in the show one day. <laughs> Croissants are French, right? <laughs> I have no idea. I assume so. Yeah, sure. I love your croissant. Fuck, I'm, okay, I'm going to stop talking about the French now, okay? Might be a good idea. No, I'm not. <laughs> so the French. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. I blame South Park for giving me a bad breath on that. No, I can't, I can't. Uh, I blame France. I blame France, yeah. Those French people with their with their, their fancy French press and French fries. And, and I can't, I can't, I can't. I know they're right. American. They should be freedom fries. No, I Oh, uh, there's. If we had another hour, I would go in deep detail about that. But no, I know, right? Yeah. Oh my god. No, it's so great. Um, but yeah, I have an email: leapinglizardcosplay at gmail dot com. Uh, if you do want to get in touch with me, you want to check out my shit. I'm good. I guess I'm gonna send you like a list of my shit. I'm saying shit at this point. I don't know why. Um, I'm too lazy. The no. words. In my words, I'm slurring, I'm too tired, I'm rambling, I'm drunk, no I'm not. I'm drunk on life. And sleep deprivation. Uh, anything else, anything else, anything else? I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, live your life to the fullest, you're a special motherfucking snowflake. I think those, <laughs> your are, face. those are fantastic words. Yes. Stay scaly, my friends. That's it. I'm gonna stop that. The motion, yeah. just the motion. Yeah, you that can't, you can't see the face I'm making right now. I'm like, yeehaw! <laughs> and I've triggered all the southern people. Damn it! Okay, oh god! Go. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> all right. Again, thanks, Liz, uh, for coming on yeah. and taking the time. Uh, more time than we actually planned. But again, <laughs> thank you for for giving yeah. back and just giving just giving us a chance and everything. So definitely. And good night, everyone. Thank you all so much. Good night, listeners.